Hey guys, it's JH. Welcome to practice tea. Nobody here. Looks like it's going to rain and sort of stormy type weather, but uh, yeah, great. Beautiful. So I've never been here when it's been absolutely, there's probably about a one, two kilometer an hour wind. Never been here. We don't like that. Okay guys, just, just to follow on with the incremental sort of learning process with the push lap, the JH version of push lap. I have to keep some information coming to you guys. Uh, because I, I'm actually liaising with uh, Lee Camo, who is the original inventor of, of, of push lap and C-motion. But I can't I can't give you any of that information yet because it, to be totally truthful I have no idea uh, what that information is and how I how I can apply it yet. Lee's very very in-depth with the way that he looks at things um, and so what we have to do is find some common ground in terms of him being able to to, to pass on to me what he's actually doing structurally. I, I really need to know the structure of it rather than the feel of it. Or more to the point with Lee, it's almost the philosophy of it. Um, he's an amazing guy. He really is unique in the world of teaching, no question about it. My good friend Martin Ayres is cut from the same cloth. They, they're both so so internal <clears throat> and almost cosmic in, in, the, in the way that they that they feel um, the golf swing and the processes of the golf swing. So guys, I'm nowhere near that yet. Even though my background is behavioral science, I understand the processes of, of neural application pretty well, better than most. Uh, but um, I've, I've got to get some, as I say, some common ground with Lee so that I know where he's coming from and I can package that to give to you guys. And that, that probably won't happen for a while now because I've got to work out where Lee is, what Lee's perceptions are as opposed to the realities of the golf swing. And, and as I said to Mo Norman, some of the things that Mo Norman was doing <clears throat> was a correct perception as far as he was concerned, but it was an incorrect science. He just wasn't doing those things. Now, now Lee has a perception, um, and when I look at them, I see the perception <clears throat> in conflict with the reality. Now that's, that's my uptake on it, and that's only because I don't understand what Lee's actual perception is and how he gets that perception into a a reality of, of his swing and his mechanics. I don't know that yet. He's going to he's going to enlighten me on that. And and, and Lee is very much a guy that's 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 in tune with the with the cosmic energy and the way that manifests itself within us and has the influence it does uh, over us and with us and for us. So that's going to be a, a great journey. Now it'll be it'll be complex because I, I look at it from a total academic structural point of view and, and I've got to move away from that and, 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 and sort of see it from a, again, a philosophic point of view. Now most science-based guys um, are structured thinking from, from a thinking perspective point of view um, entirely differently to um, philosophic type views. And, and and even with, with, with Lee, there's an abstract 
um, personality to his to his ex explanation of the golf swing, very much like Marty, like Martin Ayres. I mean, those guys know exactly what they are thinking and where they're coming from, and they display it in their golf swing. I mean, those two guys display it unbelievably well. And they understand it perfectly. But what I have to do with Lee is get Lee to, uh, again, I guess the best word is to enlighten me as to what he really is doing relative to his perceptional um, fields and applications. Now that's going to be that's going to be great, and I look forward to that. So, so at the moment, guys, I can't give you any real inside info or lowdown on 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 C motion or Lee swing, and I wouldn't I wouldn't dare go there because what I don't know anything about it. I've got no idea. <clears throat> but guys, all I so so with the JH push slap, which is basically the bicep curl <clears throat> and the the extension of that bicep curl down to the ball with a a, a very very uninhibited, unobstructed rotation. Now, one thing Lee did say. <clears throat> In one of his, his videos that's on on um, on YouTube, and if you go on there, and I think it's it's, it's I can't remember the exact, but it's basically 99.9% .9 of the information he terms in it, and he and he makes one comment in there which re has resonated with me, and he says that his sectioning of the golf swing and his containment in the golf swing is here. Once he gets this. This, this trail arm to go up here and the trail hand to assume this position he then wants to keep that formation here he doesn't want this going away from this quadrant here he doesn't want this going over here across the chest as I understand it <clears throat> and again it could be um, again a complete um, misunderstanding on my part but, but, but what I see is, is he gets this here and I, and I feel that when I get this myself, he gets this here and he keeps that there, then he just fires it, but he gets this quadrant moving there. <clears throat> but he doesn't get this doing that. He doesn't want this past this. It's all here, here, and that stays there, and that's how he gets that look. And that's how he's able to do that thing that he does with a short iron. <clears throat> if you've seen him do this, I can't do it. But it's because he pushes so hard. He gets here like this, even though he's here, and he gets the ball there and he pushes it. Oh, I did that beautifully. Oh, you'd be proud of me, Lee. I just whipped that out there. Woo. But guys, you can't do that. You can't do that if you get this past this quadrant, because this quadrant is the power source. It's there. Try doing this, guys. That's not easy to do. But you can't do that if this gets away from here. Because that power source and that containment <clears throat> and the, the stabilization and the integrity of that is what creates that. You can't do that if you, if you get this past or away from that quadrant. You just can't do that. <clears throat> so that, that was that was a lights on moment for me. So what I'm suggesting guys is that when, when, when we get our bicep fold here, if we can keep all this here contained and then when we push here, don't let the hands go past here. Don't do that. Don't don't fire it like that. Come in here and then fire it with the pivot. Or fire it with the rotation of the body. Now Lee doesn't like to use that ter any terminology associated with rotation, turn, or the club going around the body. He doesn't like any of that. He has some perceptions where he thinks he doesn't turn at all. And he says he doesn't want to turn. Now that's clearly a perception, but it's a great perception. 
because if he's not thinking about a turn, he's just thinking about a containment here, and I don't know whether he is or isn't, but I would suggest that he is, that the turn will happen automatically. Because as soon as I pull that here, I've got some rotation going there, even though we're not, we're not um, consciously thinking about that. <coughs> so, so guys, it's really, it's really fantastic when you get it here, and you feel, it, you feel like this never goes that way. It's really peculiar, and I see it in Lee. You, you really do see it in Lee because he gets here, and you see this look about him. You don't see that look about him. It's always this here and it's that look about him. So all this here is contained. It's almost like there's a wall here. And it's here and he just... And I've got to talk to my buddy Martin Ayres about this. Because Marty talks about a wall, Hogan's wall, but it was a different wall. But this is something that I can actually talk to Marty about uh, when I see him next. Because <clears throat> there's so much in common with the outlook of Marty and... Uh, and Lee Como. But, but I'm science based and I'm very much um, uh, neural message, neural formation, direction and result. I, I'm, not, I'm not a person, I'm very much a compartmentalized structural thinker and it's hard for me to lose that. Now you don't see that with Lee. Lee. Lee's just got this beautiful motion. Marty not so. Marty's very much a structural positional type guy but Lee is really the the um, uh, almost, <laughs> well he's a perfect example of the cosmic energy having its way. But guys if you do this if, if when we bicep curl it here here and then we just think that this there's a, a, bra, a strut or a brace here and, and we keep it there and then we just push we just push this quadrant when we hit it we get that look we get that look which is what Lee gets <clears throat> and, and so what I'm what am I feeling I'm feeling very much that the uh, that the swing is forward lead axis, vertical axis orientated, whereas I, I push around that here, I take the club back here, and on the downswing I apply a little bit of the trail vertical axis for stability. As I'm coming in I'm getting a lot of pressure down this way, vertically. Now Lee talks a little bit about that, but not in depth, and certainly wouldn't have the same outlook that I would have. So, so, so what I'm not, I'm not, what I'm not doing in any way here, guys, is referring uh, or having any 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 reference to to Lee's mechanics. It's just the original push slap that the JH put up, um, you know, a week or so ago. And I just want to continue on with that for you guys. And I'm going to be doing my own little um, external program with Lee. But, but Lee's back, actually given me a task. He's basically said, JH, I don't want to talk to you for a week. You go away and you hit some balls and, and you get the totality of the body interacting in the golf swing. Now, I, I understand what all that means in terms of, of um, word meaning. Now, to be able to get that, into JH because I'm very much a segmented, compartmentalized, structured, sequence thinker. Uh, and, 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 and Lee's not, Lee's a domino thinker. Once Lee, once, once Lee activates the first domino, it's over. Once the first domino falls, the rest fall. <clears throat> I want to get there because you see that in his golf swing. God, who, who wouldn't want to swing like him? Who wouldn't want to hit the ball like he does? I don't know anyone else that does. I've never seen anyone hit it like him. When Marty's going, Marty's got, got the same type of impact and his flight's extraordinary, but the motion's different. Lee's, Lee's motion is entirely different. But they both exhibit that, that enormous um, energy conservation. As did Hogan. I mean, Hogan had that... 
But Hogan had a lot of rotation. It was a supported rotation, but it was here, absolute. And the club went around his body. Now Lee doesn't want to wrap the club around his body at all. Lee wants it on top of a part of his body, which is this part here. I mean, he's continually doing this. You watch him, he's doing this. And, and that, that's, a, that's, a, that's an unconscious uh, programming mechanism for his general swing. He's doing this all the time. Now, if I can get that feel, if I can actually get that feel and incorporate a turn, get that quadrant there, hold that quadrant, and then fire it, we're cooking with gas, as we say here in Oz. Yeah, so guys, I've got to, uh, I've got to do some, uh, some uh, reprogramming my own thinking, uh, so that so Lee can give me the benefit of, um, of where he is and where he's coming from. Because a lot like with most, um, most geniuses in any field. They, they will normally conceptualize things on an entirely different plane of understanding um, and, and, and neural uptake to everybody else. And, and it's very frustrating. I mean, I've been around academics my whole life, and particularly in the science fields. And it's very, it, and, it, and it is, it's even for me who's got a modicum of understanding of, of scientific principles and, and, and processes and, and, and the structures as such. But, you know, I've been with guys who are just well, well a super intellects but I've no idea where they're coming from I mean and they and they look at me in amazement sometimes as if to say JH is the light on the switch is down but there's no light and and I've no idea what they're talking about uh, because they operate on a different level now Lee is certainly a genius uh, in terms of his internal um, understanding of the golf swing what I have to do is be able to pull that out so that he can give it to me in a manner that I can understand and, and that I can apply and, and that I can uptake. But in the interim, guys, we'll just go down the road and a lot of the things that I'll mention in the, the JH push slap will be almost of a heretical um, nature relative to Lee's swing, he'll probably say, well, JH, what are you saying? That's not... but, but Lee, I promise you, this is not your swing. This is, this is just my version of push slap for, for these guys. So, uh, but hopefully down the track, um, this is just the T-Model Ford version. I, I just hope that down the track we can give, uh, we can give them the, the Como Bugatti Veyron uh, version. Um, but it might be a while away, guys, because I've got to understand how that Bugatti Veyron works. And even that, and, it's, and, and, and guys, I probably related to a Bugatti Veyron compared to a T-Model Ford. I think a Bugatti Veyron's got 13 radiators, 11 or 13 radiators, and heat exchangers. T-Model Ford had one. I mean, it has so much complexity in there, and Lee Como's C-Motion Swing has that complexity. And he has the complexity of thinking that I have to unlock. And it's just starting to rain, guys. So guys, that, that, that today, we just want to think about this. So, so when we, we bicep fold here, here, once we've got this here and we fire it into the ball, don't let this move that way. Just fire that into the ball and then keep this in line with your rib cage here. Keep it in line there and then let the pivot take it through. That's what we're, that's what, what I'm trying to do with this uh, with this swing now. <clears throat> Club's just been on there with all the wet grip. Yeah, so that's uh, that's what we're working on, guys. So we're going to get it here. And when it's here, and then I basically feel that's it. It's all over here, don't do any more. Just get in here and then just pivot. And the pivot will fire that out there. But don't try and get it to do that. You'll get that result, but don't try and do that because that'll give you the disconnect and we don't want to pull the, the plug out of this, the wall socket. 
So it's, it's basically, we're going to get it to here. Then, then when we start down, that stays there. And then we fire it with this still here. But we fire it with the pivot. That, that's a really strange feeling. It's almost like this is braced back to here. And that never moves. And it's just the pivot fires it through. So that's what we're going to think about. Um, it's just starting to rain, guys. So I want to uh, cover up the camera. But I'll come back and hit a few shots when the rain stops. And, uh, and I'll just show you what I'm working on.